Hello. So this is a Dobro, which is to say it is a, um, it's a metal guitar, has a nickel finish, thus it looks silver. And um, I bought this a while back and have given demonstrations on it. Uh, and when I gave the demonstrations, um, this uh, was an acoustic. So I endeavored to make it something that I could play electric, thus it now has uh, a jack. And from this jack to the bottom of the resonator, which is underneath this grill, there's now a pickup, very small pickup. Um, problem was that um, it has to be a uh, passive. <clears throat> I'm sorry, it had to be a um, um, active pickup. So we had to come up with a way to get a battery to give power to this pickup. Well, easy thing we could have done was put this power pack on the bottom of this resonator. Problem with that is there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine little screws. You'd have to take the strings off, then you'd have to take this off anytime this thing ran out of juice. So we're playing around with that idea. Where are we going to put this power source? So originally we were going to put it here. Well, that's no good. Because my hand's down here. So it was decided we're going to put it up here. The only bad part is we ran this, uh, the wiring here, and um, I guess we could have drilled yet another hole and just so you wouldn't see it. But there's no way to hide this, uh, this little pack here, which is um, for the uh, battery. We put in a, a, a new uh, deal here for a, a strap. So uh, that the, the Dobro is designed to wear a big strap where it starts here uh, at the headstock. And then it does have a place for a strap here. Obviously, I didn't want that. So we can put our strap here and here. Um, so, um, let's see, have I forgotten anything? It's now electrified. Oh, and so then the question comes, what kind of strings do you put on a Dobro? There's actually strings for a Dobro. And, um, when I usually give demonstrations, this is usually the gauge of this E is usually a uh, 10. Sometimes it's a nine, but I'm getting away from nines. They, they just don't, they, they get out of tune. Too much, so I'm going to 10. So, but this is the 13. That's a heavy gauge. And then we had to determine what the correct, um, you know, height for the strings were. And so, all is all, to say all this, uh, it's now completed. So now it's electric. The, um, yeah, I guess if there's a, a negative, I guess. We should have put um, like a uh, a volume and a tone switch to get different tones, but that probably defeats the purpose of the sound of the Dobro, so we didn't do that. So anyway, uh, with all that said,
I like it. And this is a, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this, this is a Regal Dobro. Got it off, uh, where did I get it off? eBay. And uh, this particular, this is an old brand, but they make it offshore now. So these are made in uh, Korea, nickel plated. Um, so um, what I, if, just to let you know, what am I using this for? Well, obviously, uh, I love the uh, slide, and I, I'm not using my normal slide. I don't usually use a metal slide. But um, I've, uh, anyway, joined a cover band, and um, I'm going to use this on a couple songs in regular tuning. Um, there's a song called uh, Squeeze Box by The Who, and believe it or not, this thing, when you pick it, can get kind of a, a banjo effect to it. So there's like a couple songs I'm, I'm going to use this uh, in this cover band. Uh, instead of playing a, um, a regular acoustic electric guitar, so it, it just gives you a, it's a different feel, you know, uh, and it's a it's a cool feel. So anyway, this is uh, just an update on the um, what is now becoming this this uh, acoustic electric dobro of mine, and um, uh, with my power pack here. Like I said, if we drill the hole aesthetically, that would look better. But that's fine. Um, and I'm happy with it. Uh, it's, this, this is going to go from just a guitar that sits up here where I uh, uh, play to a, a guitar that I'm actually going to play out with. So I'm excited about that. So, update on the Dobro. I'm going to do a, uh, another uh, uh, video on a uh, guitar, and that'll be the next one. Uh, a guitar that I used to play in, in college, and I've had some uh, work done to it. So I'm going to... Uh, do a uh, not a review but just kind of a show you what I've done with that guitar now this weekend uh, this Friday my wife and I uh, flew to uh, um, New Orleans in a bad well yeah, it was a bad bad storm and uh, but made it to New Orleans um, and then we drove uh, from New Orleans to Baton Rouge and we went to um, uh, JB's 2014 Spring Fling and uh, met some cool people that uh, have YouTube channels and it was good to catch up with them. So I'm going to be putting up some videos of, um, of uh, two people in particular. I did two interviews of the group that got together and uh, I'm going to put those interviews up and then I'll probably put up a video of, of, of just kind of the whole day. Um, it's, it's kind of a day of uh, cooking, uh, having a, a crawfish uh, broil. Uh, there was a jambalaya and, you know, eating and, and just having a good time with these people. And then uh, we, we put together this impromptu jam, and we might throw some of that in the next video. So that's coming up. Uh, this is Sunday. This is Mother's Day. Make sure you wish your mother happy Mother's Day. All right. Till next time. Bye-bye.